Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to add a cancel order button in Shopify. First thing that you should do is you have to open any of your web browser. Then make sure to go to Shopify website and of course you have to log in to your Shopify account. So before we proceed, make sure that you have products on your Shopify store. So to check that, just go to the product section. And as you can see, currently I have these products. Okay, so now that we already have our products, all we have to do is to go to the online store, click on themes, and then right here, I'm currently using the Zon theme. Okay, and then after that, you can now customize this one. Okay, so before customizing this theme, we have to click on the apps option. So this one at the left side of our screen. Okay, and then using the search bar at the top, you'll then just have to type out cancel order. Okay, and then just click on enter after that. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds. And right here, when you scroll down, you'd be able to see this application, which is the orderify. Okay, this one. So when you click on it, you'd be able to see here the pricing. So from $4.99 per month, and it has a free trial available. Okay, so here we can try this application and if you think this application is good for your business then you can proceed to the payment and then after that you will then just have to click on install okay and then just wait for a couple of seconds and then once then you'll be directed to this page okay so right here your next bill so you have a 30 day free trial ending on october 30 and then just click on confirm okay so just wait for a couple of seconds and you'd be directed to this page now right here for the introduction you just have to read this thing so before starting on short you have to read this important in introduction okay now for the setup so here we have a guide on how we can set up this or verify Okay, so the order status, thank you page, the customer account page, and the order status. Next is you just have to simply click on continue to part one. Okay, then right here, paste in a one line script to the additional script, check out setting. So you can copy this code right here at the very top. Okay, so next one is uh, let me just copy this one because if we are going to need this later on we just have to paste it okay so this is for the setup section now you just have to simply click on continue and then right here for the theme setup so we have the done theme next is select the edit pencil reorder or both to install so make sure to check this box right here for the install order, edit cancel, links column, or install reorder links column. So right here, we can change the column title and of course the link text. Okay, so after that, you just have to simply click on install links. So when we scroll down, you'd be able to see this another section. Now just click on continue. Then right here, we just have to follow the steps once again, and then just click on review your setting after that. Now for the setting for the general, we have this section. So here for the fulfillment, so we have these things. Now for the order status and thank you page, so we have these details right here. So we have the section title, the cancel button text, the edit button text, and more. Okay. So now let us proceed to the edit and cancel page. So for this page right here, as you can see, the edit and cancel page has four possible statuses. So for the order editing page, text and translation, we have these details. Next, we just have to simply click on save and then let's go to the pop-ups. Here we have the cancel order confirmation, pop-up title, 
the cancel order confirmation pop-up message, the edit order confirmation pop-up title, the edit order confirmation pop-up message as well, and then the confirm button label. And then the last one is the deny button label. Okay, so we have here the titles. Now for the card loading conflict pop-up. So here we have the title, keep current cart items we have the message the empty cart button label so after this one you just have to click on save if you do not want to make any changes okay now after that let us go to this section so just simply click on the online store option at the right side i mean at the left side okay and then just have to select the themes then just simply click on the view online store so when we go to the catalog section and go to the products okay so when our customers go to this site and then for example they are going to buy this product okay so of course they have to click on add to cart and then here they have to click on check out okay so before they can get this product of course they have to type out here their contact the delivery address so we have the country or region and then their first name so this one is optional we have the last name the address the apartment and more and we also have the postal code and the city okay so you also have the type right here the zip code and then of course the region so i'm going to select Lano del norte okay so you can also type it right here then after that for the shipping method we have the standard and for the payment we have paypal so when they click on pay with paypal they'd be directed to this page and assuming that they do not want to get this product so or they make any changes and then they want to cancel this purchase so when they do that when they complete their payment method their delivery address they would be able to see now an option where it says cancel but as of the moment i cannot see that because i'm using my account and i don't have any other account that i can use in order for me to order from my store or from the store that i have created so using orderify is not really that complicated it's just that you have to follow all of the instructions so you can use this application effectively so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye